So this is an interesting problem where they say that th there's a train which is moving onto this track and then suddenly the driver realizes that there's a locomotive which is sneaked in from a siding and its velocity is less than that of the train and there's a chance of collision. So at what uh, deacceleration should the train now move? How should the uh, driver brake the train so that they just avoid the collision with the locomotive? So uh, you, you must realize that if the driver is just to avoid the collision of the locomotive at the time just before the collision or when the train is on the rear side of the locomotive and about to touch the locomotive its velocity should be the same as that of the locomotive and that's when the collision will not happen and the two trains, train and the locomotive would move together. So let's say it takes time t seconds for such a situation, situation to arise and vl square is equal to vt square that's final velocity of the train becomes vl and its initial velocity is vt plus 2 times the deacceleration into the displacement of the train. Now you would see that the displacement of the train is delta x which would equal to d the length of the track that it has to cover plus a certain distance which the locomotive would have moved which the locomotive would have moved in time t and remember time t is the total time from the time the driver realizes that there is a locomotive ahead and just manages to stop before the collision. So delta x would be total d to be covered plus the distance the locomotive has covered in this time which would be its velocity into the time elapsed. So if we substitute this into this what we get is vl square is equal to vt square plus 2a into d plus vl into t. We also know that final velocity vl would equal to its initial velocity plus at and if we substitute uh, the value of t from this equation into this equation what we get is vl square is equal to vt square plus 2a into d plus vl into vl minus vt upon a and if we simplify this whole thing what we get is vl square minus vt square is equal to 2ad plus 2vl into vl minus vt. On further simplification, what you will get is a is equal to vl square minus vt square minus 2vl into vl minus vt upon 2t. And if you simplify this further, it will take one or two steps more. What you will get is a is equal to minus vl minus vt whole square upon 2d. So if you substitute the values which have been given, what you get is, is a is equal to minus 29 kilometers per hour. Mind it, we are taking kilometers per hour here instead of the usual meters per second minus 161 kilometers per hour whole square divided by 2 into 0 0.676 kilometers what we get is this equals 12888 kilometers per hour square and if you were to convert it into meters per second you get as 12888 into 1000 meters upon 60 into 60 seconds square which equals
zero point nine nine four meters per second square and this would be negative let me put the negative sign 